Alrighty, you guys. So a few days ago, maybe like a week or so ago, I did a reaction to a, uh, a couple of Kitty Flanagan videos. I did it all together in one because they were so short. And then someone mentioned that because I had seen Kitty Flanagan, I should watch Mickey Flanagan. Well, I automatically wondered if they were related in some way, like man and wife or uh, brother and sister. I mean, hus husband and wife, brother and sister. And I looked, I looked them up to find out more about them. And it doesn't appear so. It just seems like they just have the same last name. I mean, she's an Aussie and he's a Brit from what I understand. I have not watched his videos before. I don't think I've even heard of him. I don't know if I recognize his face. I've seen him in the thumbnails of some of the videos that I've checked out, but he's not ringing a bell with me. So if I've seen him before, I don't remember him. Anyway, this particular video, the abroad, uh, was, uh, specifically recommended to me. I found at least another one or two that I put in my to watch list, but this one was recommended and I decided I would go ahead and start with this because it was specifically recommended and because it's not terribly long. It's only about five minutes and it's, you know, the way it is here. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out now. <laughs> There's only one place I'll go on a regular basis, Spain. Now, Spain is lovely because we turned up in the mid-70s and we conquered the Spanish. <laughs> we said, we like it here, but we want a couple of changes. Because <laughs> there's no bingo in the evening. The cabaret's not very good. And we're struggling to get a roast on Sundays. Regional humour, I guess. But there was a fear, wasn't there, of going to Spain? A massive fear, an overwhelming fear. And I'll tell you what it was. The shits. No. The fear of the shits was monumental. Really? You'd say to people, we're going to Benedon next year. They go, oh, you'll get the shits. <laughs> Is that kind of like similar to how uh, we here in America uh, talk, talk about being careful when we go across the border, like to Mexico, not drinking the water because it will make us sick. Is that what he's talking about? I don't, I honestly, if this is some regional type of humor, I don't, I, I'm a little clueless here. So maybe you guys can fill me in. That's the only thing I can figure out what he's talking about, but I might be wrong. Like, oh, you'll get the shits. <laughs> And you'd have to justify it and say, well, at least you can rely on the weather. Okay, I, I am having a little trouble with his accent because he's kind of smushing his words together. He's, he's smushing his words, so I don't know what he... All I heard what he said just then sounded like river. I, I don't even know if that's right, though. Justify it and say, well, at least you can rely on the weather. <laughs> but you go to Spain, get the shits, have a nice time, come back. <laughs> Over the last 30 odd years, the shits has largely disappeared from this experience. I mean, okay. You don't get the shits. You come home, you come home unscathed. Sounds good. You've got to go more long haul now if you want to get the shits. <laughs> You've got to go more international. Okay. This time last year, I was invited to India, to Mumbai, for the yeah. opening weekend of the comedy store in India. And the way I turned up, they pulled me to one side. They said, listen, Nick, we've got a thing here called Deli Belly. It's a bit tasty. <laughs> if you get it, you'll be banging trouble. OK. So don't have ice in your drinks. Leave the salads alone. Be careful. I said, you're all right. I've been going to Spain for 30 years. <laughs> I'm thinks covered. He thinks he's... All right. So, OK. I'm having ice in my drinks. I'm having the salads. I'm washing in a ditch. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Day three, 10.30 at night. Day three. After the show, I looked at me mate, Paul. I said, Paul, I don't feel right, mate. I'm a very regular man. I go in the morning. 
It's half ten at night and I feel like I need to go. <laughs> he said, well, why don't you go? And I said, no, I'm going to go. OK. And I went to the toilet. And with the gentlest of pushes. Oh, no. <laughs> the world fell out of my arms. <laughs> It's terrifying. You're wondering where it all comes from. <laughs> you start to panic, you think I'm going to empty. <laughs> I'm going to end up a costume of a man. <laughs> They're going to find me hung on the back of the door. <laughs> I went out to me, mate, Paul, a bit panicky. Genuinely scared. I said, Paul, this stuff's coming out of me. <laughs> oh, this dirty water. <laughs> Dirty water, is that what he said? Yeah. He said, well, how bad is it? I said, have you ever emptied an old radiator? <laughs> <laughs> That's the consistency we're looking at. Oh, geez. He said, oh, it can't be that bad. He said, come and have a light out. What's the matter with you? Come. I said, I can't. I said, I've got about five seconds <laughs> between I think I'm going to shit myself <laughs> and when I will. <laughs> I said, this ain't no disco, man. <laughs> this ain't no fooling around. <laughs> and he was rather unsympathetic, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> but a couple of days later, he phoned me up, room to room. About half past nine in the morning, sounding a little bit upset. <laughs> he said, Mick, I think I've got him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, go on then, how bad is it? He said, put it this way, I've just farted. <laughs> and some of it sprayed on my pillar. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is loud. It was a bit like the Kennedy assassination. Oh. No, they could never work out how that bullet ended up where it did. I said, Jimmy, you got shit on your pillow. <laughs> I said, I don't know how it ended up there. <laughs> oh, my are goodness. You are, are you are? Oh, wow, that's funny. See, I, I have... <laughs> um, I think I have both of those saved. The prostate exam and the C word. Um, but I started with this one first. Okay. That was funny. Um, there's really honestly not, not much more to say about this. Uh, <laughs> I guess they either, yeah, it, I was going to say maybe they got a stomach bug, like a contagious stomach bug, but it sounds like it was just whatever it was they ate or drank. And, uh, their, uh, their gut did not agree with that at all. So, uh, yeah, that was funny, but honestly, there's not a whole lot of commentary. I feel like I can add to this. The, <laughs> well, there was only, there was one thing that was coming to me when I was watching this and I don't even know if this is anything I, sh I don't know. It's, it, it, it only came to me because of the subject matter, you guys. But one time a friend of mine needed to go in for, um, a colonoscopy and you know apparently you have to do a prep the night before and it's pretty mi dang miserable and she was pretty miserable when I, I went to pick her up to take her because she was going to be sedated and I would be bringing her back home <clears throat> and she was describing the miserable experience <laughs> by saying she was peeing out of her butt <laughs> That's what it was like. And that really stuck with me. The way she said that really tickled me. And that's what I was thinking about when he was talking about his experience. It's totally not the same thing, but that's what kept coming into my mind. It's good that he can laugh about it. And I wonder if at the time that this was happening to him, he was thinking to himself, this was going to make some great stage material. And... Apparently it did because he's got a whole video on it. Anyway, I'm curious to find out what he's going to say about uh, his, his prostate exam and uh, the other video there. But uh, yeah, this is pretty funny. Kind of like, <clears throat> I would say clean humor 
uh, well, and, and also let's say maybe tame humor, because here he's just talking about body issues, not really touching on anything, uh, super heavy handed or anything like that. Just kind of funny, normal life type of issues. So anyway, that that was a good laugh. That was, it was short. It was funny. And, uh, I laughed quite a bit harder than I thought I would. I'm sorry if I blew out your, your eardrums with this thing anyway, but I don't have anything else to add. So I'm, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this one right here. You guys, nos vemos. Mm -hmm.